Welcome, my name is Dr. Pipi and this is tutorial number 9 in the Age of Conan tutorial series. In this episode I will talk about advanced combat mechanics which are buffs, debuffs and CCs or crowd controls. Um, I, will, I will be playing on the temporary Saga server for increased experience. The first thing I'll do is get my bars ready. I just washed up on the beach so everything is new. I'll place them here. I'll extend them. I'll lock them with Shift L. I'll go into Options, Interface Options, unclick Automatically Sheath, Show Tower Bar, Show Energy Bar, Apply it, click OK and resume. So the first thing I want to talk about is the crowd controls. In Age of Conan there are six crowd controls. Knockback, Stun and Fear, Root, Snare and Silence. If you have seen my last tutorial I was playing the Necromancer class and you could have already seen one of the uh, CCs where I slowed down an enemy. That's the snare CC. So let's talk about all the CCs while I reposition my chat window. The knockback CC simply flings your target back onto the ground depending on how strong your CC is, it will be one meter to a couple of meters. The second CC is the stun CC. Stun will immobilize your target. It will be stunned, so to say. It will not be doing any casts or any combos. The third CC will be the fear CC, which will send your target running around like a madman <coughs> and it will be unable to cast or do any combos. The fourth CC will be the Roots CC. The Roots CC will um, root your enemy into place. It will immobilize him but he will still be able to cast spells or do combos if you are close to him. The fifth crowd control is Snare, which will slow your target down by a certain percentage. The last CC is the Silent CC, which will silence your target by um, by making sure he is not able to cast a spell or to finish a combo. So there we have them. Knockback, Stun, Fear, Root, Snare, Silence. Important in the Age of Conan combat system. Now let's talk short about buffs and debuffs. Buffs are things that enhance your character and debuffs are things that are bad for your character. In the top of the screen we will see generally our buffs, things that make us better. On the lower side of the screen, right above our name, there will be debuffs, things that um, will be bad for us. So let's get going. Let's talk to Casilda. I have to find the scavenger. Let's kill him. 
Remember to look at the shields. It's hard. If you reposition, you see. And we leveled up. Shift and V boots everything. And as you can see, we've got the rest ability. Before we go on, I want to make a separate chat window. The chat, chat, I will make this shorter. And I will have all our character improvements go to this window. There we have it. So every time we level up, this window will show our improvements. Let's free Casilda. And I got go with you. While we wait, we will increase our running speed. Out of the way. We have our first combo, remember the combo system. There we go, our strength. Only our attributes increased and we didn't get anything new. Let's guest the boss and the chest here. By the way, in the lower combat, you can see our uh, the damage we do and get. Let's put our potions here, and we got a weapon which is better than what we have. Right click to equip, hover over it and you can see we equipped it. Let's increase our run speed again. <coughs> Pillager. Reposition yourself if you leveled up again. And this time, let's back up a little bit. Before he sees us. This time we train the new combo, Slam and Path of Asura. I reposition the Path of Asura for now. And the new combo Slam, remember, it knocks back the enemy. It's a first crowd control ability on a combo. And here you know here you can see it will knock back everyone in front of you. Tap to change the add inventory thick cap uh, three armor. Free armor. That's what we need. Let's go on. We're level four already. Knock back. CC. Get on the right angle for the shields. And our first fatality. We're getting close to level five. Now came back. Always check your inventory now and then to see if you got something that you can use. As you can see, the bear shaman is an elite class. reach level 5. What did we learn? We trained a new combo, Sanjurine Strike. This mighty blow intimidates the victim, deterring them from switching targets to attack the beer shaman. We, we learned a new combo, Internal Bleed 1. Swift hammering blows directed at the enemy's torso, the shuddering impacts rupture internal organs and burst arteries 
causing temporary internal bleeding. You've learned a new social ability, our dance and attributes, and we have learned a new ability called Renewal. The Bear Shaman, the Great Shaman's next successful melee attack also plays a moderate healing effect on their companions. This is an important one for the Bear Shaman. So let's shift L and replace it. This is a buff. The plus, we've le reached level 5. This is a buff. When we click it, you will see it being placed on the top of your screen. Now, we have not yet keybound this bar, so we have to click it right now. When we attack someone, while this buff is active, we will get a 20 second buff, which heals us. As you can see, heals two on target every one second. This is a buff. Let's try our new combo. We have the resurrection pad. And it's gone again, so we have to activate it. And it's activated. Let's use Centering Strike and Internal Bleed. And clicking on it will activate it. You can loot while playing. can activate it again. Knock him back. Crowd control. Centering strike. What I do here is try to pull them together. Fatality. Centering strike. Let's see. And we have a fatality buff. Remember, buffs on top, debuffs down here. What did we get? It's all armor 3. Oh, don't forget our potions, which are already placed here. I want to show what happens if you drink a potion. If you click on it, either in the inventory I know there's a problem with the mouse cursor so um, that might be confusing uh, I don't know how to resolve this bug at the moment so bear with me If you click on the uh, not where the mouse cursor is, but if you click on the potion, you will see on the top of your screen. There it is. That it is a buff. It heals you for 30, and then after that, it will heal you for 4 every 1 second. Now let's go to Sadur, and we will talk about a debuff which will appear above our name on the lower side of the screen. So let's get up to Who him. stands before? It seems the it was not. Of course. Brave work. You knelt many times, dragging the oar at my order, okay. obeying whenever commanded. But though you bear the mark and are worth much so to me, slave master Ulrich despises travels as you can see he puts you a rent on us sacrifice yourself to the demon Time to die, slave. and the great serpent shall judge your worthless soul in the afterlife. right so as you can see 
above our name appear some debuffs. The rent debuff is a damage over time. You can see ends in so many seconds. The green one was a root. Remember the root? Let's kill him by the way. Let's have a potion. Let's heal ourselves. And as you can see, we cannot move right now because we are rooted. A root fixes your position in place until you are on route. And what is good to know is that after a root or after any CC, there will be a well, after most CCs, there will be a immunity, as you can see here. So we get a ski, we enter the gate, and the last thing I want to show are the bananas. There they are, bananas. We go into our inventory. Eat the banana. You will see the hearty new buff on the top of our screen. It is a buff. It will help us. And this ends the episode about advanced combat mechanics in Age of Conan.